The following video is going to show you how you can work with the pages that you've created for your team, placing them onto the navigation bar and deleting pages you don't need. At this stage, I'm going to create uh, my pages. I've created several already. I'm going to create one more. Again, to create a page for your team, click on Home first, then click Create Page. I'm going to do a file cabinet. I'm going to call this one Team 5. I would like this to be at the top level for now, and I say Create Page. So I've now created Team 5. I actually have several pages created. One of the ways that you can see the pages that you've created is to come over here to More Actions. When you click More Actions, go to Manage Site, and you have a lot of things that you can play with here. What we're going to look at right now is the pages themselves. And now you can see the page structure I have. General Resources, Home, Teams 1 through 5, and then I have this one Team 12 here by itself. So I, I now know that I have all the pages I need. I have, unfortunately, I, I'm not going to have 12 teams. I'm only going to have 5. I don't need to fill in the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete that page. Well, from this page here, that shows me the, the list of all my pages, I can click on Team 12. This actually takes me to page Team 12. Under More Actions, select Delete Page. And select Delete. So now if I go back and look at my pages, you will see that that page is now missing. So here's Manage Site, Pages, and now you see that that is gone. So I would like to add these now to my navigation bar. There are a couple of ways that I can do this. I'm going to show you two ways. The first way uh, puts everything into a single list. So I'm returning to my site. You notice right now I only have home page and general resources. I want to edit my sidebar. You'll notice that I have one navigation box right here. I'm going to click edit. Now there are a couple of ways to do this. One is to simply have it automatically organize the navigation page. Let me show you what that looks like. Click Save Changes, and then return to the site. You notice now I have Teams 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 all listed up there as well as General Resources. This looks great, but it does it alphabetically, more or less. Home page will always be at the top. So if I be, uh, change, for example, Team 1, and I change that, I now put the, the uh, students' names in here by editing that page, you'll notice that page is going to be rearranged. Actually, that may stay in the same place because of the name. But let me go ahead and put one here that says Abby. So I'm going to go to Team 4, and Team 4 is going to be Abby. Actually, you'll notice that now Chris and Rhonda is above General Resources. But let's go ahead and edit this page so it says Abby. Save it. You'll notice again it's rearranged. If you want to keep these things in order, what you want to do is edit that sidebar, navigation. So if you're going to have everything in a single box, click Edit and turn off the Automatically Organize. Then you have a list where you can add pages. Click pay, Add Page. Choose the site that you want next. So let's say that I want to have Abby. Then I want Chris and Rhonda. Then I want to add Team 2. Team 3, 
and Team 5. I haven't assigned uh, students to those teams yet. So if I take a look at my list now, save changes, then return to your site, you will see that they're in the order I, I have them. In this case, alphabetical for the students, general is back up at the top, Home will always be at the top, but general, you'll notice, it is now forced to be above Abby. Uh, in the other format, it was down below. If I add subpages to these, let's say that under team, uh, under Chris and Rhonda, for example, I go to that page and I add, in this case, their presentation page. So I will call this Chris and Rhonda presentation. I'm going to put that under Chris and Rhonda. You'll notice that that will create a subpage for Chris and Rhonda. All right. Now, another way to, to uh, put these on here, and I'm going to have both of these on here at the same time, is to actually add other sidebar pieces. You'll notice you have this vertical or this horizontal line here. I'm going to add, edit my, my sidebar again. This time I'm going to add a sidebar item. And I want to add some navigation. I want to edit this navigation. In this case, I want to add a page. And I'm going to make it simply say Chris and Rhonda. I click OK, and I add another sidebar item. I'm going to add some navigation, and I'm going to click Edit. And this time I want to add, let's say, Team 2. I'll put this in a different order than we did the other one. Click OK. And finally, let's add one more, adding navigation. Click Edit and add the page. And I want to make it, let's say, Team 3. I'm going to save my changes and return to the site. Now, you're going to see these linked twice in two different ways. You don't want to do this in both, both ways. You want to choose one or the other. In this case, I have the navigation bars or navigation links over here on the sidebar all in a single list. This will lay them out in a different format. What I can then do is go back in and change the names of these. Instead of calling this navigation, I could call this Chris and Rhonda. You'll see that that's been changed. And if I go back to the Chris and Rhonda page, I could edit this page and say, and call it pre-science fair work. Click Save. So now, what you'll notice is that under Chris and Rhonda, there's the pre-science fair work. I can then also add the presentation page to this same space if I would like. So again, one way to do the sidebar is simply to keep them all in one list together. And you would do that in the very first navigation bar. Or you can create separate navigation bars for each team in your at your school.